Hello, my name is Jessie Milkey, Certification Program Manager with ESRI, and today we're going to talk about advancing your goals with ESRI Technical Certification. I'd like to start with a brief overview of what we'll cover here today. We'll begin with an overview of our current program offerings, talk specifically about what's available to our developer community, and talk a bit about what's expected in the future. We'll spend some time talking about the preparation path, as well as resources available to candidates who are seeking certification, and talk through some of the individual and organizational benefits to becoming certified. I want to start with this quote from Roger Tomlinson. The two most important components of a successful GIS are good planning and good people. Keep in mind, though, that all the planning in the world is useless if you do not have adequately trained people to operate your system. This is such an important message about how we prioritize workforce development opportunities, such as training and certification. As an investment in yourself as an individual or in your team as a leader, you should absolutely prioritize these opportunities in order to ensure you have an adequately trained team supporting your systems and your organization, giving you the highest chance for success. Today we will share key information on how ESRI training and certification can support your goals of becoming certified while leveraging ESRI training to realize the full potential of your workforce goals. It's important to talk about why training and certification are important to an organization at the top level. Here we're looking at portions of the ESRI mission. Training and certification has a direct tie to the elements of our organizational mission, though today we're going to focus most on how creating GIS professionals can help organizations to fully serve their mission. To achieve this, we have to focus on the people. The people are our greatest asset. We have to ask some key questions. Are you or your team members well trained? Are you keeping up to date on the latest technology trends? Have you quantified those skills and showcased the GIS professionals that operate your systems? Each of these are tied to the effectiveness of your workforce and the success of your engagements overall. By creating GIS professionals, you'll see a direct benefit to other aspects of your organizational goals and mission through fully leveraging technology, building powerful tools, solving real problems, and inspiring people to understand and act. To support the advancement of professionals and organizations, ESRI training offers a vast library of resources of all learning styles, skill levels, and budgets. The ESRI Academy site has over 600 resources ranging from multi-day instructor-led courses to self-paced e-learning, which is included as part of maintenance. We offer free training seminars, as well as MOOCs, or massive open online courses, which are incredibly popular. We offer ESRI technical certification, as well as curated learning plans. We'll obviously talk a lot about certification today, but I want to spend a moment to encourage you to review the learning plans available on ESRI Academy. As I mentioned, these are curated plans, and we've built some that are specific to certification to help guide preparation efforts. These will be incredibly useful as you seek to earn a certification. Now I'd like to give you an overview of our current program offerings and give you insight into the road ahead for certification. We currently offer technical certifications in two core domains, desktop, and enterprise. And in recent years, have added an additional program component, certifying on specialty or more focused products and concepts. Our core exams are currently offered at the entry, associate, and professional levels and test on a broad range of technical expertise. Specialty exams are shorter in length and allow you to achieve certification with a specific focus area in mind and stack it upon your existing certifications. A couple of things to note in regards to our specialty certifications. First, individuals must achieve a core certification to be eligible to sit for a specialty exam. There are no specific 
core exams that you must use to meet this eligibility criteria, we leave that decision entirely up to the test taker to ensure they're selecting a core exam that meets their skills and knowledge level. Specialty is also the domain in which you will find our offerings specific to our developer community. In 2021, we are looking to expand our offerings available to the developer community, and we'll explore additional entry points into the program. We will also begin to release our first round of updated exam content across all domains, and we'll explore additional specialty exams for development. So you can expect lots of great things from the program in 2021 and into 2022. Let's take a moment to explore the developer-specific offerings currently built into the program. Within that specialty domain, we currently offer certification on the ArcGIS API for Python, as well as the ArcGIS API for JavaScript. You can visit the ESRI Academy page to view details on these specialty certifications, including the recommended qualifications, the skills measured by the exam, and tips and resources for preparing for your certification. When considering certification, it's important to understand the path you'd take to achieve your goals for certification. We like to look at this as a series of steps, though you may follow a different order than what you see here. Before taking an ESRI certification, you will need to purchase an exam voucher directly from ESRI. If your organization currently has training credits, either through a training pass or an Enterprise Advantage Agreement, these credits can be used towards the purchase of your exam voucher. Candidates will also need to schedule an exam appointment with our testing partner, Pearson View. When scheduling your exam, you can choose from over 5,000 test centers worldwide or use OnView to take your exam using the online proctored tool. This is a great opportunity to continue to work towards your certification goals, even if you are currently unable to visit a physical testing center. Aside from scheduling your exam, you need to select your exam. When choosing which exam is right for you, you should carefully review the candidate qualifications and skills measured information provided on the exam detail page to help assess your readiness. You can expect that any concept included in the skills measured will be included on the exam, so pay careful attention to the exam information provided on those ESRI Academy pages. Keep in mind that the path to success is rooted in the practical application and hands-on use of the technology and the tools. So leveraging the exam details to identify skills gaps will help you to focus your preparation efforts. This moves us into the final phase of actually prioritizing your preparation efforts. You should take the time to properly prepare for your exam. Review all resources that are available to you and certainly take advantage of training resources that are available as you prepare. As mentioned previously, our subject matter experts have curated training resources that correlate with specific exam objectives. This helps to provide a comprehensive list to prospective candidates to help focus their preparation efforts. As you're working through your preparation, there's one key resource that is oftentimes underutilized, and that is your ESRI training consultant. Our team of training consultants can help you to select an exam, create a customized training plan around your preparation, help to purchase an exam voucher, including how to leverage those credits in order to complete your purchase. This team of consultants is available to work with individuals or at the organizational level to advance the skills of your workforce. If you're unsure of how to connect with your consultant, you can reach out to our team and we will be happy to get you connected with this valuable resource. Switching gears from how to get certified to why. Certification can bring value to both individuals as well as organizations. The ESRI program is open to all users globally, including our customers, partners, international distributors, and ESRI employees. It's important to recognize that when one individual on a team achieves great things, it can have a positive impact on the organization as a whole. Returning to our Tomlinson quote, we are only as good as our people, 
so make sure to celebrate the successes of all those within your organization. We'll explore some specific benefits to certification for both the individual and the organization now. Focusing on the individual, part of the ESRI program is granting access to our certified candidates to a robust digital pla badging platform. This is an important part of showcasing the achievements of the individual and grants access into Labor Insights as an additional benefit. As a certified individual, you can share a visual representation of your certification accomplishments, which is a huge opportunity to elevate your profile. To date, ESRI has issued over 4,800 badges, which have been viewed over 30,000 times. These badges see an average of 7.4 views per share, which has increased nearly 3% in the last year alone. This means your peers are noticing you and your accomplishments, and this has the potential to open up new opportunities, boost your confidence, and show that you are proficient and knowledgeable in your skills. A report compiled by Global Knowledge for a global IT skills and salary survey found there to be some key benefits to individuals becoming certified. Individuals predominantly found that as a result of earning an IT or technical certification, they had increased confidence, were better positioned for career advancement, saw increased industry recognition, and were able to effectively validate their skills against a proven level of competency. Another opportunity to showcase your personal achievements is to share your successes on the ESRI Academy success story page. The stories here were created by the individuals themselves and allow you to hear directly from those certified individuals how they have benefited from becoming ESRI certified. Some will also share what they found to be a successful preparation path. So if you're considering certification and want to hear the stories of individuals who have followed a similar path to achieve certification, please visit this page so you can read about the accomplishments of these talented individuals. If you are certified and have not yet shared your story, we certainly encourage you to do so. From an organizational perspective, Incorporating certification into your workforce development planning is becoming the global standard. Organizations that set certification expectations have a healthier business performance compared to those organizations who do not. Some organizations are even beginning to set certification requirements for some job roles or for their partner organizations. Much of this lean into certification value is due to proven research that shows organizations with a workforce that values training and encourages certification for team members, sees better training and support performance, has a more competitive proposal advantage as certified staff is beginning to appear on, as a requirement for RFPs, has more successful services engagements overall, and shows an increased proficiency for their staff. This is a powerful metric from the same IT skills and salary survey mentioned earlier that shows how important certifications are to organizations. This global survey found that 94% of IT decision makers reported that their certified team members brought added value above and beyond the cost of certification. Some of these benefits included the ability to speed up technology adoption within their organization, stay current on technology, which lowers the cost in terms of support, increases the user confidence in their team and their organization, and built additional workforce productivity. As a final resource, if you're looking to explore the ways in which certification can bring value to an organization, we've created a few ESRI-specific publications that explore the value of certification. These articles focus on the value seen by some of our highest performing distributors and partner organizations and can be found on our ESRI Academy site. I strongly encourage you to take the time to read these publications and understand how organizations are putting into practice certification requirements and recommendations that are truly helping to advance the skills of their workforce. 
I'd like to give you some next steps, which would be to stay current with the certification program and all of the changes we expect to come in the next year. You can do that by visiting our ESRI Academy page or reaching out to our team if you have specific questions. We encourage you to stay connected through our GeoNet and our LinkedIn spaces, where we share lots of great information and announcements around the program. If you have questions as to who your training consultant is that I mentioned earlier, please reach out to GIS training at esri.com and we'll be happy to get you connected with that individual. With that, I thank you for your time and encourage you to reach out if you have any additional questions about training or certification. Have a great day.